Hey guys, welcome to my channel Baking with Nopur and Baker's Delight. Please do subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and hit that bell icon. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super super soft dinner rolls. Just look how beautiful the texture is. So let's begin. I'm going to make this recipe in my stand mixer. So I've taken the stand mixer bowl. In this, we are going to add flour, some milk powder and sugar, water, milk, some salt, yeast, and some extra milk, guys. And I'm using the hook attachment. First, we are going to take our stand mixer bowl and attach it. Then I'm going to add the salt at the bottom. After adding the salt, I'm going to put in our flour. In our milk and water mixture, I had added the yeast and let it bloom for 10 minutes. Now it's time to add it to our flour. Let's attach the hook and start whisking. Now, once this is done, halfway through, I'm just going to show you how the texture is. See, it's going to fall off the hook easily when you scrape it down. But it's still going to be pretty much attached to the bowl. It just, it will just start leaving the sides. Right then, we are going to measure out some butter and we are going to add it to our dough. After adding this butter, we are going to just mix this dough for another one or two minutes and then it's going to be ready. How to check that it's ready? The consistency will be so that it will fall from your hook attachment easily but it will still have a blob sticking to its bottom. That's the right consistency guys. So now our dough is ready and I'm going to take it out on a lightly floured surface be very gentle with this dough and just roll it and form a ball once you are halfway through folding grease your tin i'm gonna use the same bowl so i'm just gonna put some olive oil and i'm gonna grease it nicely after you've done greasing it keep on folding your dough using your palm and then we are gonna cover it with a cling wrap and let it rest in a room temperature where it's warm and at least for an hour guys you need to prove this for at least an hour there i'm gonna show you see and now i'm taking this cling wrap and i'm gonna let this sit for an hour there after an hour you can see that it's doubled in size so now i'm just gonna punch it lightly and take out the air once again, flour your surface before taking it out. There we go. Now, take it out very gently and knead it. Very lightly, guys. Use your palm, bottom of your palm and just knead it. See, I'm just folding and kneading. I'm not touching it with my fingers. I'm just kneading it using the bottom of my palm just fold and knead fold and knead that's all you need to do once we are done doing this procedure at least for about a minute i'm just gonna cover this and i'm gonna grease the pan where i'm going to bake it so once you're done greasing this we are going to take a measuring tool which is our weighing machine and we are going to weigh the dough so that we can equally divide it into round balls so first what we need to do is we need to weigh out the dough so as per your way I'm gonna divide mine into uh, nine pieces so my dough weighed around uh, 478 or something so I'm gonna make uh, 52 gram balls uh, so just weigh them out okay uh, and just make sure they are all almost of the same weight so see how i'm doing it i'm just 
making sure that they're all of the same so i'm going to make nine balls and once you form the balls you need to properly roll them out now look very carefully how i'm rolling it push and roll push and roll with your thumb and your palm you need to do this at least nine times for all these nine rolls so once you have done this or if you can't you can just roll them in your palm but this is the best method to do it i like to do it this way and once the ball is formed just put it in that pan we're going to equally space out all the balls leave a little bit of space among each ball and once they're all done this is how you should place them time for our second proofing for another 40 minutes cover it with a tea towel and let it rest for 40 to 45 minutes now our dough is rested and see how beautifully it has risen after the second proofing now it's time to bake them in a preheated oven i'm gonna bake them at 200 degrees for 15 to 18 minutes wow look how beautiful they look after baked oh my god now i'm gonna take some butter and i'm gonna grease the top of the buns to keep them shiny and soft so once you have put enough butter let them cool down before you serve wow now we are gonna take a look they have cooled down and i've separated a few just to show you how soft and beautiful these buns are just look at the texture how beautiful and soft they are can you see guys the texture there you go and they are super soft thank you so much for watching guys i hope you really like this video and i'm sure you're gonna make some very soon Till next time, happy baking!